Um, very interesting incident. Actually, the first time somebody called me from Neil's office, um, they gave me a different impression of the film. So, uh, of my role, in fact. Um, so I said, no, I will not be interested in doing this. Then uh, Naman himself called me after two days and he said, we would like to meet you for one of the lead roles. And um, I said, but well, somebody else was saying something else. And they were like, no, 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 please, please come and meet us. So I, you know, always was, uh, you know, keen on meeting Neil and uh, Naman. So I went and met them and they were so sweet and so down to earth and so like engrossed in their script and the film and everything that, and they had so much will and desire to work with me and he was, Neil specifically, he was adamant that there's nobody who can do this role better than you. So mm. I need you for this role. You have to do it. And and when I saw all this love, I just, you know, and also I like the script. I, I just couldn't say no for this. Yeah, so I had to do it. That's how it happened. Okay. I play Sara Braganza. Um, she's a supermodel. She's somebody who uh, is a, she's the glamour quotient of the film. And um, uh, she also is somebody with whom the whole mystery is attached with. Um, uh, as you've seen the trailer, you can, you know, guess. You, you, can, you can get a little bit of idea that the whole mystery of the film revol revolves around Sarah and her death or whether it is happened or if it's happened, how it's happened and who's done it, if it has happened. Um, so that's the whole film about. And uh, Sarah's character is a larger than life character. It's, she's, she's hot, she's glamorous, she's up there, she's a superstar. Everybody wants a piece of her. Yet there, is, there are these insecurities of a human being, you know, the layers of a human being that you have. Uh, that you will get to see in Sarah's character that in spite of having all of that, she's unhappy. Mm. You know, there's something lacking in her. Um, more than this, I will not tell you. <laughs> you gotta watch the film. <laughs> not really far. I mean, I have been giving interviews every day, and I think they have some strategy in mind. Uh, after all, uh, Neil is the captain of the ship, and Naman is the captain of the ship. I'm sure they have something, you know, in mind. And obviously, we were waiting for the right moment, a uh, momentum to, you know, to come along. As there are so many other films releasing at the same time, there's so much happening. So we were waiting for uh, a period when we get close to the to the release and uh, that's when you know we all took a conscious decision to sort of go all out. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm all out. About friends. Well okay. luckily I don't have any scenes with Ada in okay. the film. I come across, there's only one scene between me and her and Neil mm -hmm. where we cross paths if, if I have to say so. Um, and um, you see, I'm a very easy person to work with. Mm. I myself don't like to create any problems or give anybody a reason to create any problems. Mm. And Ada is also a very sweet person. She's, uh, in fact, she's been so open and vocal about, you know, the things that she likes about me so many times in front of everybody that I find very endearing. And, mm. uh, you know, very sweet of her to come and tell me that, oh, I like this picture of yours. or Oh, I saw this and mm. you were looking very nice and stuff like that. So, I, you know, today's, generation is different we like to appreciate each other we like to at least I as a person I can talk about myself I like to empower each other especially women because you know I've seen most of the times it's women who really um, put themselves down it's 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 you know uh, that's why uh, other people can take advantage of them if all women get together and empower each other and and push each other uh, I don't think there'll be anybody who can put them down again so so yeah, I, I believe in that and I think I give that energy and she was always sweet as I said. Mm -hmm. So we never really had to um, go through these kind of feelings or emotions. Mm -hmm. No, as I said that I didn't really have uh, much time to spend with her, got much time to spend with her because her scenes are separate, my scenes are separate. So we never really got that much time to really talk, uh, uh, talk with each other about each other's fashion sense and I think her style of fashion is totally different than what mine is mm -hmm. uh, and both have different kind of fan following and you know uh, people appreciate us in whatever we do which is great uh, I'm grateful for people for appreciating me and her <laughs> so yeah I mean uh, th there's nothing to discuss about fashion in terms of her style of fashion is totally different than mine well that happens I guess you know it is bound to happen because when you do something so well and that works 
everybody wants to make the same kind of project everybody wants to cast you in a similar role but i think it, as an actor it's your will or wish or desire uh, if you have that desire to keep changing and keep evolving then then it is your subconscious effort or your subconscious decision to not uh, to say no to those projects and move on to something different i do that most of the time that's why you see me in very uh, less shows or or web shows or films because i don't like to keep doing the same kind of work and unfortunately this is how the industry has always been you know it's very difficult for it's it's very difficult for us to um, uh, break through that one image that we ourselves have created by doing such good work uh, you know but the idea behind doing good work is i really hope that people understand that if somebody can do a character so well they'll be able to do any character well uh, but but yeah typecasting is the rule of of life <laughs> lot of fun lot of fun um, both the brothers naman is a sweetheart he's so calm he's very composed he's um, because it's also his first film he's very young and he's work getting to work with such you know um actors who have done so much work and so much great work in their life he's always this very humble sweet person if he has to say something he'll say it in a very na chota sa awaaz bhi nahi nikalta uska so we have to sometimes tease him ke naman thoda zor se bolo um very neil is totally different you know neil is um, is uh, something who knows it all he has done a lot of work in his life even even as an as an assistant director he has you know worked with a lot of big uh, production houses uh so he's learned a lot of things and he obviously is the elder brother you know and um, he is a little commanding uh but he but he commands what he really thinks is right and and most of the times even for us you know it's very easy to take that because we understand where it's coming from we understand that the, that an experienced person with the right kind of experience is telling us to do something so in this film uh, neil has been involved in every aspect uh, from clothing to makeup to um the look of each person the uh, the dialogue delivery the dialogues everything i mean he's personally you know for seen everything so uh, and along with that you know i've had actors like uh, rajit kapoor um um sudanshu pande gul panag uh, manish ji ke sath to i i didn't get to you know a chance to work with but these people are around and they're so funny they're hilarious like sudanshu pande and rajit together they are hilarious um so kab haste khelte you know we we pass our time we, I, i didn't come to know i in fact miss those days now no 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 i think i get more than enough chances the industry has been really kind on me it's been it's been my subconscious effort to not do the similar roles as i said like unfortunately i do get offers literally almost every day touch wood and um i i feel blessed and grateful to be able to say no to be able to have everything in my life to be able to be blessed with everything in my life to have this uh uh authority or or this um um what do you call it um, I, i'm at a stage in my life where i can say no to so many projects so it's not that i don't get offers it's not that people don't offer me people have always offered me things it has been me who has been able to either do or not do a project for certain reason or various reasons you know so uh no that way i feel uh, i feel um it always it's always about you how you feel about the world the world will react exactly the same i i'm a very positive person i like to believe that the world loves me i like to believe that um everybody loves me and they do because i also love them from from within you see i don't see anybody as a threat or i don't see anybody as a i don't hold grudges against anybody i understand that if somebody has done something bad with me maybe there was a reason you know there is a history everybody has a history so when you have this forgiving nature the world also forgives you you know it gives you back whatever you give it so i have i have always believed in that and i've always been like that so i've been grateful gratefully i, I think i've been really blessed uh, in terms of everything whether i have work or no the media writes about me the media wants to know about me there's so much love that i always get from media you know uh, and i sometimes it, it's overwhelming for me because i feel like are yaar how are they loving me so much but it's also because i think i love them you know every time i meet all of them 
I meet them with a lot of love, a lot of respect, and I think that's what that's that's what a human being mm -hmm. desires, and you know, they all deserve it. So I think it's just about what you give is what you get. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a song with Mika Singh. Um, uh, it's called Majnu Remix. Uh, it's from his movie Adat, uh, and um, very soon. Uh, We'll have a release for that as well. So I'm looking forward to that. It's a very, very cool song, very peppy. It'll be like a um, like a nightclub anthem because it's something that you can play anywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, it's a song that you can dedicate to your friends, to your you know lover. It's it's a it's a song that you can sing for anybody. Yeah. So I really like it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The plan is to just get ready nicely <laughs> and go and party with my friends. Uh, I look forward to Diwali honestly. Uh, from my childhood, I had I don't know what connection. I always look forward to Diwali because these eight ten days that you know the whole festive, uh, the whole festivity around the city is so beautiful to look at. The lights are so beautiful to look at. People, you know, really make an effort to decorate their homes and bring mithai in the house. And uh, although it's very heavy on us, the next day we only have to do a lot of workout, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, I guess I guess it's fun. It's like you know, it makes you. Um, sometimes I wonder if we didn't have all these festivals, what would a human being do? Mm -hmm. You'd get bored, because you know, a, a, an everyday mundane life will bore you to death. Mm -hmm. So people created these festivals. People keep creating these uh, events to to feel alive in life. You know, to celebrate. Uh, so I think you know that's the spirit of Diwali. Everybody is in a celebrating mode and. Um, everybody's open to each other, happy to meet each other. There's no agenda. There's no like, oh, I will not say hello to this one. You know, everybody's so happy that they are okay to um, invite another person into their life, and that's a very beautiful energy to have in a festival. All kind of mitais. <laughs> I like everything that makes you fat. <laughs> uh, everything, yeah, the chat papri, the the. Different kind of charts and um, mithai, uh, the mawa cake, the kalakan, um, makan bhog, and uh, rasmalai, and rabri. Oh my god, I can name it all. I think so I. So many things, but still, we yeah. don't feel like you have. Oh, trust me, I feel like it. <laughs> I feel like it. Aapko <laughs> dikta nahi hai. I'm very smart. I'm a very smart dresser. I dress up accordingly, according to my weight. Ah. <laughs> uh, that is right. When you are a child, you know, there's so much more excitement because you get money from everybody and you, you know, you get to collect all that. But I think in my life, I have discovered the child within me much later because I started working very early. Mm -hmm. So I was always very matured. Like, you know, I had a lot of responsibility and I always behaved like a matured person. So off late, I am letting my child out. So now I'm really enjoying enjoying Diwali and the festivity and getting ready and, and being excited like a child, you know. The other day I was playing cards and I won 50,000. I was jumping around everywhere. I was like, yeah, 50,000, <laughs> you know. I never do that. But, uh, but I think off late, I have learned this and thanks to my meditation that made me, you know, yeah. And thanks to my medit meditation that made me realize that... Um, you know, it's very important to keep your child alive. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so now I get very excited about things, whether I get anything or no, it doesn't matter. But when, when I'm so excited, you know, see how the universe function. Uh, when I am so excited about things, things end up becoming exciting and th things end up giving me all that joy that I, yeah. that, that I am feeling from within. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Diwali guys? Yeah. All my friends, I love all my friends equally. I love my friends, my family. Um, I have a very small friend circle with whom we all we are always together mm. on any festival or no festival and I think I usually like to celebrate all my special occasions with with these people and on Diwali I look forward to meet some new people as well mm -hmm. as I said the energy is so inviting and um, and open to receive uh, people's good energy and 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 accept them as who they are uh, it helps you to make more friends. So I look forward to making more friends. Well, today I came to know that our release date has shifted from 1st to 8th November. So um, 
please all of you you have to go and watch bypass road if you like to watch thriller movies if you like to see something mysterious something that has a little bit of horror element as well something that can keep you on the edge of the seat if you really like that you will love bypass road so please go and watch the film give us your love so we can make more such films hi this is shama sikandar and i wish all the viewers a very very happy and prosperous diwali